Well, in Thailand, preliminary results from Sunday's referendum suggest that the ruling military can now change the constitution. The new charter gives the army more power to influence the civilian government and includes forming a committee made up of military leaders who can seize power from an elected government and hand it to the armed forces. Well, let's get some analysis on that referendum from Sutari Wanasiri in Bangkok. She is a human rights specialist. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, do people actually trust the outcome of this referendum so far? And if so, why would the Thai people want the military to have this kind of influence over a civilian government? Good evening. Yeah. So um, in terms of the pre preliminary outcome uh, from this like, uh, uh, situation now referendum, um, so far both sides have expressed uh, their exception to the result, the preliminary result of this referendum, both the uh, yes camp and the no camp. Uh, even though like the, the turnout of this like um, referendum uh, is considered uh, a little bit lower than the last time that uh, the constitutional referendum was had. So um, in uh, in this time, like at least uh, as you can see that um, uh, uh, about the uh, fifth Fifty-four uh, percent have voted uh, yes to the referendum, uh, and then the, no. In, in total, actually, like uh, fifty million percent, uh, uh, fifty million people like eligible water turn out, and uh, it equal to fifty-four percent of the people. And sixty-one percent have voted yes, and thirty-eight percent have voted no okay, to the Okay, but if, if you can tell us why, what's the uh, rationale behind voting yes and behind giving the military Military more power. Yeah, from the, uh, our perspective as a human rights group that monitoring the situation, we have to say that the process that leading up to this uh, referendum uh, are neither free nor fair. First of all, like there are very severe restriction on the freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom of assembly leading up to this uh, referendum. Uh, several individuals who have voiced out their opinion against the referendum and against the constitution have been arrested, have been detained, and have been prosecuted, especially uh, from the referendum act and several like military order that have been placed earlier before the referendum. Okay. So, Sunatiri um, Wanasiri, yeah. we're going to have to leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much for sharing uh, your insight from Bangkok.